All right, how's it going, you guys? This week, we're gonna give the FL5 a new steering wheel. Let's go. Okay, before we start uh, removing the OEM steering wheel, make sure you unplug the battery because we're dealing with an airbag. Give it about 10 minutes after you unplug it, the negative terminal, it should discharge everything and we're ready to remove the airbag first. To remove the airbag, I grabbed myself a number four and a half Allen key because there's three holes that the Allen key has to fit in, one under here. Should be one down here. Click your last one over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and remove the airbag here. And then it should be held in by two clips. There's one this side and one on this side. One, two, and then we're gonna remove the negative terminal. There you go, baby. Easy, beautiful. So next up, we're gonna just go ahead and remove the, uh, unplug the clock spring. And that's pretty much all you need to, to do. So up next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bolt here. I believe that's a number 10 or a three eighths. Okay, let's try this again. So now that I got the bolt out, uh, we can go ahead and remove the steering wheel now. That's it, that's all we need. On the FL5, there are audio buttons and cruise control buttons that will we'll need to relocate those over onto the new steering wheel so everything works like oem plus courtesy of sub 60 racing they got us a works bell srd kit which is the relocation kit meant for the fl5 thank you sub 60 racing what we're going to do is uh we're going to remove the phillips screws one here one here and for the ground wire and then that will enable us to remove the front fascia here okay now we should be able to start popping them off Please work your way around. Now you go ahead and unplug your audio and on this side. There you go. It should come right out. So up next, to get to the uh, wire harness, I gotta get the back cover off. They're held on by these tabs, this tab here. There we go. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what's inside this uh, SRD box here. Instruction manuals, the button holders. These are 3D printed. Pretty crazy what 3D can do these days. These are the back plates that actually mount onto the back here so they hold the buttons in place. The horn wire, all your screws and hardware, the hub itself. The setup that I'm doing, I went with a short hub. I don't know what this is for, it's for probably older Hondas, but we're not going to be using that. It doesn't apply to us. We'll need these for the airbag cancelers and then of course the short hub itself. All right, so first we're gonna go and connect the hub here to the spline. We're gonna obviously face this down and this has to go up so it fits through the uh, clock spring. Just kind of eyeball it, I think, as best you can, I guess. There you go. Then we're gonna go ahead and put the bolt back in. And then we're gonna go ahead and torque it down to, I believe, 36 foot pounds. All right, I'm gonna start assembling the Works Bell button relocation uh, assembly here. First, we're gonna to have to get the uh, buttons out of here. So that was pretty easy. All I did was I spread it here, get it off the clip, and then it's held on by one clip right here. And then just, I pried it open and it falls right out. Pop these guys in, just like that. And then you're gonna find the corresponding bracket that holds it on. I believe this is the right one. There you go. And then go to the supplied hardware and it's these ones. Just like that, all done. Brackets are on, beautiful. So now we're gonna go ahead and mount it to the, uh, the ring here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just leave it loosely like this so that when I go and put it in the car, I have time to adjust it or some play to adjust. And then once I like my this, the length or the distance, and then I'll tighten them down. All right, so next, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the back in the clock spring here. And then I'm gonna start organizing everything inside here 
everything should be so that the button can be plugged in easily. Just like that. And then we're gonna go grab the ring here. And then, so for the orientation of this, make sure the silver ones are facing you and work spell is down. Well, it says Japan facing up. So that's the right orientation. So we're gonna go ahead and snake everything in here. So these buttons, these connectors got to go down in the bottom here because they got to go through the holes. Now, maybe uh, I want to go ahead and plug these back in. And it's on this side. Just like that. So next what we're gonna do is gonna take the uh, supplied airbag cancelers here and we're gonna go ahead and put them in the hole here of uh, the two airbag connectors. I don't think there's any polarity or anything like that. It doesn't say. I looked in the instructions. Okay, that's it. Right, so everything's gonna be all nice and organized in here. Uh, so the key thing is you just gotta make sure that the cables here for the for the audio and the cruise control is flush. Because if it's not flush, it won't, this, it'll end up getting pinched. So make sure you don't pinch it with this. Uh, it's right here and right here. So, and it has to have enough clearance, have the uh, Allen key to go through. With works bell, there's a little dot here indicating the 12 o'clock. So let's go ahead and put this all in here like this. Yeah, just gotta make sure all the cables are out of the way. There you go. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, torque them down to nine foot pounds. All right guys, so I'm pretty much almost all finished up wiring up everything here, but I just wanna quickly explain my setup here. If you go and buy the button relocation kit from either Workspell or a spoon it'll come with a standard hub where you can't put a quick release on it and well you, you, you could right but the only problem is going to be the steering wheel is going to be too far up uh, so that's why i went and kind of customized my own kit here uh, with the help of envision auto imports and of course sub 60 racing i went and got a short hub the standard hub that comes with the kit come it's like two and a half inches tall so that's why i went with the short hub here which is this one okay before I started taking everything apart, I did measure from here to here on the stock steering wheel and it's roughly about five inches. So the goal is with the shorts hub here, it should allow me to get within that range, five inches. Hopefully that is the goal. Let's go ahead and then install the quick release. Let's see how it looks. Go ahead and uh, connect the quick release base plate, uh, let's say. Let's call this a base plate onto the, uh, the hub here. We're going to take the supplied grounding uh, plate. I'm going to put it right here. I really don't know exactly where it's supposed to go, but I'm just going to line it up like that. And then uh, I'm going to just get the, so this one will go into the black and then the red here will go into the horn button here. All right, guys, let's get to the fun part of this vlog. So during the trip to Japan this year, we were able to source out three different wheels from three different shops. So let's start from the uh, left here. The most exclusive one is very rare to get right now, unless you just go to like Envision Auto Imports or Sub 60 Racing. They do have them on hand, I believe. Very, very limited quantities. I think maybe one for each shop. But uh, the Mugen Power, um, this one is Alcantara. I know you can get them in leather too, but I think this is, looks pretty awesome, but it is the most delicate, I think. It's just, it looks like crap if you don't take care of it, if you don't wear gloves, but very, very nice. Red stitching to complement the uh, FL5. And then of course it comes with the exclusive horn. Okay, so up next, is the middle one, which is your Spoon Sports. This one is probably, a lot, a lot of people like it, but probably not my favorite because it doesn't, this is one thing I don't like about Spoon is it doesn't say anything where it says Spoon, but still a very nice Momo steering wheel. And the only way you can tell that it's a Spoon Sports steering wheel is because of the horn. You're probably thinking if you can get this one at a Momo, 
The only problem is you won't be able to get the horn by itself. They won't sell you the horn. That's what I've been told. And last but not least, I think this is my favorite. I had my eye on it when I visited uh, ASM. It is the same as the Nugent Power, same shape. But the thing I like about this is that it actually says ASM right on it. And of course it comes with the genuine horn. To mount the steering wheel, you grab the uh, hub adapter here and then there's an indicator for the 12 o'clock so that the steering wheel, when it locks, it'll lock straight going up. So don't worry about the, the wires right now. You're gonna get the uh, center ring, put that in, or you know what I found what easier was is just put this in first with the uh, shorter lip facing you, longer lip going down. So you're gonna put this in where the grounding wire goes, right there, and then put that in and it falls right in. And then just make sure screw holes are open because if you are not dead on, it'll be off. We're gonna go right there. And then we're gonna grab our steering wheel of choice, which we're gonna go with the uh, Spoon Sports one here and then it goes over top like that. And then they give you some supplied hardware or your hardware of choice like Chasing J's and then you're gonna screw them in. But for demonstration purposes today, I'm just gonna screw in two just to show you what the different steel wheel, the steering wheels look like in the car. So when you're about to install it, you, what you do is you, you plug the black into the ground where the grounding ring goes and then just bend the tab in and on your horn of choice you just plug your red into the horn here and then we're going to mount it so you guys are probably wondering how come this one doesn't have a horn instead of putting the asm horn on i uh, got one of these during my uh, trip to japan i seen this horn button before and i just I just fell in love with it and I just really wanted to have it for my own personal vehicle. So the backstory with this horn is I seen it at A-Pit and I really wanted it, but I was kind of like on the fence because I didn't have a car that had a steering wheel that I can replace. So I just, I said, you know, I'll decide later. And then when we decided to come back later, it sold right out. So I was kind of bummed out because I really wanted it. Long behold, we went to ASM. Lee's the one that found it for me. He's like, hey, Fun, it's available. Go grab one. So he got it for me and look at this guys. And I think this is like the actual finishing touch on the ASM wheel. So if you guys are interested in any one of these wheels, especially the Mugen, Envision Auto Imports, or Sub 60 Racing, I believe they have one each on hand. They're very exclusive and right now online, they're totally sold out and doesn't show any kind of ETA on it. So there's your chance, you guys, hit them up. I'll put the description in the link below. Again, if you're interested in ASM or the Spoon Sports one, they do have that in stock too. So hit them up, you guys. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. See ya. Oh, we're at the lock. Sick. See ya. <laughs>